Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hand. has been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Oh my God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us no. all. I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Guys, there's someone 
outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. You must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, that Shit! <laughs> 
Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is frightened of something. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Okay. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we?
Thanks for having me, Marty. Yeah, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction projects and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! What?
fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> cool. all the way up here. Chris, you here? bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Aha! Look who it is. Hey, Dozy. I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. I think your targets are going anywhere.
Wow, nice shooting, Tex. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Man, it is... It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Gentlemen, <sighs> I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. So beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Ford. Oh, shut up. Stay here and catch some Z's, bud. Okay. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Um, Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? 
No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect.